Today we're looking at air-to-ground rockets and guns. Armament screen. We can have rocket pods on pylons 1, 2, 9 and 8. We get 18 rockets in each pylon. In each pod, sorry. So the first thing we need to do is set our rockets up. We do that whilst our engine is off, all our systems are off and our canopy is up. So we right shift and key low key to bring the knee pad up. We can see we have matter 155 burst count here. This is the amount of rockets that come out of each pod while pulling and holding the trigger. We can change this with right shift, right alt and one. So right shift, right alt and one. We can have 18, one, three or six. And we'll just leave it on six because it seems to work well. Right shift and K to get rid of the knee board. Next we'll start up and get in the air. Next we're gonna look at the controls that we need to use the rockets, to select the rockets and the guns. So to fire the rockets and the guns, press and hold, weapons fire. To allow the CCIP targeting, weapons system command forwards to enable the CCIP aiming, and I may refer to this later in the video as special mode forward. And special system command aft, which will cancel the CCIP aiming mode, and I may refer to that as a special mode aft. So we're gonna select the rockets, they're down here under RK3. Rocket selected. We can use two different types of aiming, TAS, which is radar-based aiming, or RS, which is radio altimeter-based aiming. You can use just TAS if you want, but to do it properly and by the book, we would have TAS and RS as backup turned on, so both of them turned on. If we're going to use RS, we need to make sure we power up the radio altimeter. So if we go to our HUD options here, first of all, we can turn the radio altimeter onto the HUD here. And we actually turn the radio out, power up the radio altimeter here. So we've got it on and it's on the HUD. Next, because our primary method of aiming is going to be radar based, ensure that the radar is turned on. Emit. Next, we want our CCIP aiming. So we're going to press special mode forward. So we've now, we can see we've got the rocket selected and we've got our CCIP aiming reticle here. The way that this is going to work is that we're going to orient ourselves into a dive towards the hostiles at 400 to 500 knots at a dive angle of about 20 degrees which we can see on our pitch ladder down here. We're going to aim our aiming dot from our CCIP reticle dot here onto the target. We will be told for slant range from our aircraft to the intersection of that dot there and the ground here, currently 12 kilometers. Once this gets to just below three kilometers, our ranging circle will start unwinding. It will unwind from here at about three kilometers, unwind to here at about one and a half kilometers, all the way down to zero, where we're basically hitting the ground. And usually I'd suggest firing between this guy here and just slightly below. And we can also choose which pods we use. We start ourselves up again. We can use just the exterior pods, interior and exterior, or just interior. So we might as well use all of them at once. The so next, I've got to go and find the target, get an appropriate dive profile, and go for the attack. And the next thing is we need to ensure that we have master arm on, we're ready to fire, master arm is on. We're going to turn our gun arm on as well here. Oh, it's already on, because we're going to use our guns after this. So we're going to gain a little bit of altitude, or maintain some altitude here. Speed about 400, 500. The faster we go, generally, the harder it is for them to shoot us. Just double check, got TAS, RS, exterior, interior. Rocket selected, master arm on, good. We're gonna dive down at the targets, which are about here, roughly when our 20 degree depression ladder. Okay, we're gonna aim for the dive. Should be about 20 degrees. Let's choose our target. Wait for the ranging clock to unwind. At about the half point, I'm gonna fire. That target there. Push and pull and hold the trigger. Rockets out, a kaboomy. There we go. We've also got an ammo counter on the right wing. We've got 26 rockets left. On the left wing, we've got 20 second. 26 rockets left, let's go around for another strike. This time I'll see if I can strafe all the way down their lines. I'm gonna fire at several distances this time, so I'm gonna wait until three kilometers on the right there for the first firing. One. Two. Three. That's us done. Next we're gonna use our gun. Turn that off. Turn that on. So the master arm for the gun, the master arm has to be on and the gun arm has to be on, which it already is. Now we're going to press this down here, which is our gun selector for ground mode. We've now got our gun selected for ground. We've got the same aiming methods here selected. We've got rapid rate of fire or slower rate of fire. We're going to go for rapid. We've got PAR here, which is burst fire or TOT, which is full fire, no burst. We're going to go on for full fire. 
symbology is all exactly the same as it was. Out of interest, if we want to cancel this CCIP terminology, terminology, we can go to special modes aft and we cancel it. Special modes forward again and we get it back. And that's it. Otherwise, it's just pull the trigger and hold the trigger. Our ingress is going to be the same, 20 degrees, 400, 500 knots. Pick out a target. Wait for a suitable range. Wow, got him. Again, 80 rounds per gun right, 80 rounds per gun left. It's a pretty effective gun, but limited ammo. So that's all I want to show with the air-to-ground rockets and guns. If I didn't mention before, this CCIP reticle here is fully automated, so it will account for any lead, any dip that you need to consider with the weapon. So you just put it on the target and fire. Simple as that. Hope that was useful and see you later.